The body of 72-year-old Sally Miller was discovered inside her Goffstown home on June 14, 2019, after a neighbor became concerned for her welfare. She had a single gunshot wound to the head, uh, and directly across from the exit wound in her head, uh, an expended bullet was discovered. Today, one of Miller's daughters, Jennifer Clough, pleaded guilty to reckless second-degree murder. Prior to her death, Miller had talked to a neighbor about Clow stealing money from her. Those issues had gotten so bad uh, that Sally was actually out of money and told her next door neighbor that she was probably going to have to sell her house. Clow had apparently been having issues with her mother for a while. In a search of the home, investigators discovered journals that mostly appear to be from 2008. One entry, uh, the defendant talked about killing her mother and said, quote, if I could shoot her and get away with it, I would. While the body was discovered on June 14th. She actually killed her mother on June 4th. As for what she did in the interim before heading to Florida on June 12th. She spoke to her sister, visited her sister, sent her sister some items. She went shopping. Clow was eventually arrested June 16th in Naples, allegedly telling police that the gun she used to shoot her mother was up in her room. And while she told the judge she suffers from anxiety and depression, she also allegedly said during an interview... The killing her mother was absolutely wrong, and when asked about possible punishment, said that she should spend the rest of her life in jail. The state is recommending a sentence of 35 years to life, while the defense has yet to make its recommendation. Sentencing is set for June 21st. Reporting live, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.